play. Yeah. Let's see, see what Paul George had to say. A lot of people like don't know. I work out and I train hard every summer, right? This was the first summer I wasn't able to do that because I had or the, this past summer going into last season was the first summer that I wasn't able to do that because I had shoulder surgery. Mm -hmm. So I missed a whole summer of training. And so when I came back, the team was already, you know what I mean, rolling. rolling. They already rolling. got, you know what I mean? We started off okay, but we didn't start off as well as we wanted to. But I feel like they already had a little chemistry going. And so when I came into the mix, I am I missed a whole, like, I missed that time in the summer of playing pickup ball, hooping, getting a rhythm, getting a mm -hmm. flow, working on my game. The timing right. The timing right. So when I came back into the league and started playing again, it, I just felt off. Like, I didn't mm -hmm. feel like a, a part of the team. And then, you know, the way I was being used, I felt like I was, you know, Doc was trying to play me as like a, a Ray Allen or like a J.J. Mm -hmm. Redding, like all pin downs, all like, That's I can do game. it, but that ain't my game, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I, I need some flow. I need some mixes of, of pick and rolls. I need some post-ups. All that. Just different touches, you know what I mean? And so it, it, it was just, you know, that last season was just hard uh, overall. Uh, but I think for this year, everybody's starting off on, on a healthy page. We're starting off on the same page. Me and Kawhi are going to get some time together working out. Um, I think everything is, is just not rushed going into this season. Mm -hmm. I felt last year everything was kind of rushed. I think rushed. it happened for a reason. I think y'all going to benefit from that because mm -hmm. going through the wars and the struggles and the ups and downs I went through in the bubble, now y'all coming out to start again with a new coach, with a fresher mind, a coach, with a guy who probably – Y'all probably could communicate more with because mm -hmm. he's more close to our age, and we right. kind of, you know, what I'm saying we come from that same era. But at this, I, I think y'all benefit from those those hard times. Y'all come together more this year because y'all starting from scratch. Right. Being in training camp together, it makes a big difference, bro. Right. It makes a big difference for a team going together. And once y'all get that, I think y'all. Okay, so we saw what Paul George had to say. Okay, so basically, Paul George didn't like the way Doc Rivers was playing him. Okay. And first of all, folks, he's not comparing himself to Ray Allen or J.J. Redick. He's not. He's not saying he's a sharp shooter like J.J. Redick or a sharp shooter like Ray Allen who can literally run off a pin down with their eyes closed and their hands tied behind their back and make a three. He's not saying he can do that. What he's saying is he – Doc Rivers was trying to play him in a way that did not fit the way he played, okay? Paul George, he wants post-ups. He wants mid-range shots. He wants a lot of pick-and-roll action. He wants the ball in his hands. He just doesn't want to be a spot-up shooter. And I feel like maybe – Maybe what he's saying is no. What he's saying can it can be true? I'm not saying the man's lying. I want to go back and look at the tape, watch some of the games, and see how they literally pay, pay. I mean, played Paul George. How did they play him? I believe that they did make him run off a lot of pin downs and a lot of screens. Like he was just running around trying to get three point shots off, and some of his shots were bad. Some of these shots Paul George had were off the pick and roll. Now he's not saying. I know he's not saying that he had no shots off the pick and roll. He had no shots off the pick and roll off season. But majority of the time, he was like, yeah, running off screens, running off pin downs, hands off, trying to make a three, coming off the left, coming off the wing, just trying to hit threes or trying to hit jump shots. He wasn't getting that many post ups. He wasn't going to the free throw line that much. And I feel like he was kind of ten he was kind of um you know, he was kind of tentative, tentative, tentative. I mean to me, he was he was kind of hesitant. Okay, I couldn't find a word to come out of my mouth. It's late. Okay, it's late. Like I said, he was he was definitely just out of whack a little bit with the Clippers. He had so much going on. He was kind of lost here, there. He didn't really know what was going on. Didn't fit into the offense. He couldn't play in the summer he couldn't get that chemistry going but i don't want to hear that excuse okay because all season all season you had the clippers saying stuff like this you had the clippers saying stuff like this all season i curry reportedly laughed it off and i'm the modern day robin for real the modern day robin that's it all year long the clippers have privately said this and you know i've told you this off the air max on numerous occasions the clippers have said Stephen a we got five dogs I don't know if they got one. That's what they said about the Lake Dogs. I don't know if they got one. Said about the Lakers. They got five dogs. I mean, we got five dogs. I don't think they got one. So the Clippers were talking like they won the championship. And we remember Patrick Beverly after the signing. He was sitting next to P.J. Tucker. He hopped on the table. He said, 
I just won an effing championship, screamed about a couple of times on the table in a five-star restaurant. I don't know what restaurant they was at, but I know they was eating good. And he got on top of the table and started screaming, hey, I already, I won an effing championship. So these dudes were not humble at all. And they got a piece of humble pie. <laughs> they got a good piece of humble pie from them nuggets, man. Them nuggets gave them that nugget pack, and they took them home. Because to me, the Clippers were not humble enough, and they didn't have chemistry to make things work out. Didn't have that much time. Like Paul George said, we didn't have time to practice all of these things. We just didn't have time to get chemistry going. But I think those – I'm not saying he, those are excuses, but like a lot of times Doc was saying, we're fine, we're good. And every time they won a game, the best defensive team in basketball, the best team in basketball, the chemistry is working well. They're working well. They're gelling. All of these things. But now we see that all of that was a lie, and it didn't work out so good. So I'm just trying to see what.